Welcome back to our guide on making your very own game in Scratch. I've been working on a good game Spawn Point Invaders game with Julian here. Julian, what's on for this week? Well, we've got the gameplay, now it's time to add lives and scoring. Alright then Spawning, so load up those Scratch files and Julian, kick us off with the first step. Select the Darren Sprite and under Scripts, select Data. Click on Make a Variable and call it Score. Click on Make a Variable again and call it Lives. Both of these should be made for all sprites. Now select Darren's Laser Sprite. Go to Data and insert a Change by One block just under the first If Then clause as the first command inside the If Then loop. Change the variable in this block to Score. This will award you one point every time you laser a human. Now select Barjo's Chicken Sprite. Just below the repeat until loop, add an if then loop from control. Move the hide block below the new if then loop. From sensing, add a touching block as the trigger. From the drop down menu, change it to Darren. Go to data and insert a change by one block inside the loop. Set it to lives. Add a minus sign in front of the one. Now Bajo's chicken will sap one of Darren's lives every time it touches him. Do the same for Hex and Goose's chicken sprites. Affirmative. Select Darren's sprite again. From events, add a green flag block. Go to data and add a set to zero block. From the drop down, select score. From control, add a forever loop below that and a if then loop inside it. Go to operators and insert an equals block as the if then clause and from data, drag score into the left slot. Set the right side to 20. From looks, insert a say for two seconds into the if then loop and type you win in the text field. Then go to control and insert a stop block and from the drop down menu, select all. So if I get a score of 20 points, I win. Exactly. Now while we're on down sprite, add a green flag block from events. From data, add a set to zero block below it, select lives from the drop down and change the zero to three. Now we start every game with three lives. Now add a forever loop with an if then loop inside it. Like before, insert an equals block from operators, only this time we plug lives into the left side and zero into the right side. From looks, insert a say for two seconds into the if then loop and type in you lose. Then go to control and insert a stop block and from the drop down menu, select all. That's it! Now you can both win and lose. It's a proper video game. Well done, Goose. I knew you could do it. Next week, we'll be adding some finishing touches. Oh, I can't wait. Remember, Spawn Links, to save that code, and you can always watch previous lessons on our website here. Until then, Goose out. Julian out. Oh, thanks, Goose and Julian. All right, guys, time for the Ask Spawn Point desk. If you need any help with difficult questions, you can always call me.